Okay, so this is an update on this boiler. Now, <laughs> this is just going to be so crazy, right? So we haven't had heating um, or hot water for the entire week. The boiler packed in uh, last Sunday, and on this screen right here, we got an F.76 reading, right? So the boiler wouldn't work, and we got in touch with the insurance company, who the following day, I think it was on the Monday, sent the plumber around to have a look at it. So, plumber turns up, switches it on, and it seems to fire up. Now I tell him, that's odd, because I had an F76 number, and he's like, okay, right, no problem. Um, let me have a look. So, <laughs> I've got to thank Victor Crute and Right the Hand for sort of prompting me to actually look into this a little bit, just by some of the comments they left on my uh, post from last night. So, essentially, I watched this guy for about 20 minutes. He came in, he borrowed my steps, and he took the panel off, and he said, sometimes this connection here, that I'm zooming into now, sometimes this connection um, will... Uh, you, you know, it's, it's a loose connection, right? So, if that's the case, it could be that that's a loose connection, in which case it's a pretty easy fix. Like, okay, no problem. So he takes, he unclips it. I'll try and zoom in to show you. So he unclips that, and uh, puts it back together, uh, fires up the boiler, seems to work. So I'm watching this guy for about 20 minutes, and he's running the hot tap, running, you know, just messing around here for a bit, and it doesn't seem to be getting that F.76. So I'm like, hey, look, mate, you might have had a wasted journey here, and maybe that's the fix, maybe you've sorted it out. He says, yeah, well, I'll, I'll keep looking. So I thought, well, sod this, I'm not just going to stand here watching him, I'm going to sit down in the living room. So I goes and sits down in the living room, and about 45 minutes later, he comes in and he says, right, he says, uh, it's the worst possible case. I says, what's up? He says, yeah, I've managed to get the F.76 to come back. And it is the heat exchange. The heat exchange is broken. So you're going to need a new one. And, and uh, you know, you may need a new boiler because of the, the price of the, of the actual um, part itself. I'm like, oh, right, Dan. Well, well right, I'll have to uh, get in touch with the insurance company, see what they say, blah, 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 blah. So, it's been a week. And... Victor Crew and right the hand. Well, why don't you do it yourself? Well, you know, why don't you have a go at bashing it, repairing it yourself? Yeah, right. Okay. I'm not a plumber and I'm not an electrician, but I thought, you know what? I will just try it. I'll go back and I'll just see because those words stuck in my mind. I've managed to get it to do the F.76 again. Now, not that the boiler just auto said F.76 that he managed to get it again. So I goes in. I pull apart those clips, blow into them, right, because there's like um, a male and female. So I blow into them, reconnect it, and what the hell do you know? The boiler's firing up, it's working fine. We've now got heating, it's hot. We've got cold water, warm water now. Happy days, happy, happy days. Now, I'm not going to say that. In some, you know, in some way that the the engineer that came around had a a part in um, making it appear that I needed a new boiler or I needed a new part. But what I'm going to say is that it's now working when essentially this part is supposed to trigger an auto shutdown of the of the actual boiler, uh, so that it can't fire up. So it, it would be impossible to fire up if the F.76 was still um, in place right now. Clearly, the boiler's working, it's firing up, it's all working fine, and you can make your own minds up. I'm, I'm not saying anything. All I'm saying is I moved the same part that he did, reconnected it, blew into it, and now it's working again. Well, what do you know? So that's the update. Hopefully this keeps working. Um, in which case, I mean, look at it, it's just firing up, it's just beautiful, just firing up, you can see the flames inside of there, absolutely fine, doesn't appear to be anything wrong with it. Tell me what you think, was he a con man, or was I just very lucky with the boiler, what do you think? And if anybody can sort of like tell me what these readings mean on the boiler, I'd be appreciative, because I really don't know either, but there we go. Right, so hopefully I'm going to be warm. I won't need to sit in my dressing gown <laughs> for the next few shows. Uh, and, uh, yeah, happy days. I might go live again tonight, so we shall see. Uh, right, see you in the next one.